my name is Kyle for the win and welcome to another Call of Duty World War 2 best class setup video. This is not a DLC weapon this time guys, today we are covering the M1 Durand Assault Rifle. This gun, I didn't think was that good at first, uh, just because I just wasn't good with it, but after making this class setup that I'm going to show you guys today, this gun is an absolute monster of a weapon. It kills so fast at a, such a fast rate. It's absolutely insane of a weapon. Like, I just, I couldn't believe it when I made this class setup, how good this weapon actually was. It's honestly insane. Uh, like, just incredible. I didn't think it was that good at first, but then after using it and making a class setup that I, that I think is very very good this gun has turned out to be an absolute machine uh, so let's just jump into the class setup the the vision that I decided to use with this weapon is infantry uh, for multiple reasons number one can keep that those sights up have that very quick mobility with these assault rifles which have a slow uh, strafe speed and then you can just get that nice quick strafe speed as well as you have four attachments which this class could not be possible without four attachments uh, so uh, very very good division the infantry is I use the infantry a ton almost have 10,000 kills with it uh, since the division overhaul though I haven't used it that much just because I think it lacks a few of the good perks that it used to have such as uh, reloading uh, having a full magazine uh, ammo capacity when you pull the weapon out uh, I just wish that they didn't get rid of that for infantry but when we get to the basic training I will be able to uh, tell you uh, what was fixed about that. So for the basic training, we've gone actually gone for forage again because, as you guys know, with forage, uh, it you have a full uh, ammo capacity in reserve and you replenish ammo. So uh, you pretty much never run out of ammo with any weapon you ever use. Uh, not like the M1 Garand. Uh, the M1 Garand actually I've come to find actually really needs forage. I didn't. I used to have hunker on this class, but then I realized that if I went even on a five kill streak or more, pardon me, that I would run out of ammo very, very quickly. Uh, so I put forage on, so I can always have ammo, so I could go on those long kill streaks and never have to worry about running out of ammo, which see is a uh, consistent uh, issue with this weapon. Uh, but coming in for the attachments, this is what made has made this gun so good for me. We've gone for the extended mags, grip. Rapid fire and the aperture sight. Now, at extended max. This only this gun only has eight web, uh, eight bullets in the clip, but it has a fast reload speed. So I mean, debatable what you want to put on it. But I have extended mags just because uh, it goes from eight to twelve, and twelve is always better than eight. So you can get a lot of kills very quickly with those uh, with that ammo. I think I've gotten maybe four or five kills with one clip at before so extended mags is very very important but if you spray a little bit then maybe uh, that's another good reason to have extended mags grip just so when I'm getting shot at because I don't have armored I can completely stay uh, focused and as you see in the gameplay if I'm uh, even in a close range gunfight where there is an SMG player and he's shooting me very very much I can easily keep on sight and get that quick to hit kill which is what the M1 Garand uh, is so powerful with uh, then I have rapid fire. Rapid fire, of course, I always use rapid fire on single fire weapons because with rapid fire you can shoot those fast, uh, shoot that single fire gun a lot faster, and that makes it uh, a lot easier to use. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, so I love rapid fire on this weapon. Makes it shoot a lot faster and uh, ma almost makes me my trigger finger the. Uh, fire rate of the weapon which is really really awesome next I've gone for the red dot sight uh, but back to the rapid fire thing really quick uh, that's also why I have extended mags because with rapid fire it seems like I run out of ammo very very quickly so I have that extended mags so I'm not constantly reloading because sometimes I get into doubles double kill situations maybe even triple kill situations and if I didn't have extended mags I probably wouldn't get all those players uh, but anyways I've gone for the red dot sight because the iron sights on some of the variants are a little bit iffy uh, I don't like the ring on top it kinda blocks my view it's all personal preference though you don't have to use uh, 
in a red dot sight, but advanced rifling is also a very good attachment to use on this weapon because you can get even longer to hit kills. But I've just gone for the red dot sight so I can be more accurate and not have to deal with the iron sights that I don't really like that much. Uh, but another big key with this weapon is accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. If you're not accurate, you probably will not win gunfights just because it's that's just how two shot weapons work. If you miss two or three bullets out of your magazine, you probably will die by an SMG or an assault rifle or even an LMG. Uh, so just be aware of that. You have to be accurate with this weapon. And for the reticle I have on it, just so you guys know, it is a uh, supply drop reticle, but it is called the... Uh, let me see if I can find it. It's called the Breach uh, reticle. So basically it's a red dot sight with a open circle in it. it. makes it the gun very, very accurate. But, I mean, if you guys get to 300 kills with this weapon, you have an even better red dot sight. Uh, I would just recommend that you put a different reticle than the standard, just because I feel like with the standard one, it kind of blocks your view a little too much. So, if, if you guys do use the aperture sight on this weapon, make sure you uh, change the reticle. Or maybe if you don't mind the reticle, then you can just continue using it. Whatever you guys like, doesn't bother me, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, as for the secondary, I've gone for the 9mm SAP. Love this pistol. I'm sure all of you guys have this if you play World War, II, World War II. Just because the Resistance Division, I'm sure you've prestiged it. And you get the 9mm sap for free if you do prestige it. For the attachments, I've gone for extended mags and high caliber. Just in case I run out of ammo with this weapon, I can easily pull out my pistol and get a few kills. If you guys missed my uh, last World War II live episode, I used the M1 Garand and showed off the beauty of this weapon. And you saw some situations where I did run out of ammo with the M1 Garand or... Uh, had maybe one or two bullets left in the clip, so I just pulled out my pistol and got an easy kill. So very, very effective here using a pistol with this weapon. I would definitely recommend you use a pistol, uh, but you don't have to. Of course, you can use the melee weapon if you want or a launcher, whatever, uh, but I just like using a pistol. Next for the lethal and the tactical, I've gone for the frag grenade and the British concussion grenade. I don't really use any other uh, tacticals, although the gas grenade I might start using a lot more when I get to Master Prestige, because the gas grenade is very, very effective. Uh, it lasts longer than the concussion grenade, and it blocks their view, so it makes them very slow as well, and the gas grenade is actually a very underrated tactical. Very annoying, but very underrated. Uh, the frag grenade, of course, simple, just didn't want to use the sticky this time haven't used a stick in a long time actually I've kinda switched over to the frag grenade but I don't really use my equipment too too much I kinda just throw them around a corner just to see if there's an enemy there not necessarily to get a kill but that is absolutely everything for the class setup itself and now let's go ahead and jump into my kill streaks. they're the same kill streaks as what I use uh, when I did my uh, live episode uh, earlier this week so I've gone for recon aircraft care package and glide bomb I recently started using the care package a lot more because the care package is a very, very good streak for multiple reasons. Uh, but the recon aircraft, of course, pretty self-explanatory. I can see enemies on the mini map, so I know where they are, get easy, effective kills on the enemies. Uh, care package, I've started using a lot more because the high kill streaks in this game aren't super, super good, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, the, just the bombing runs, there are a lot of buildings on these maps. So unless you're playing on shipment, 1944 or you just get really really lucky uh, these 10 uh, 10 15 1400 kill streaks aren't really worth it uh, same with the Baltery gunner the Baltery gunner although is very very good it got a lot better uh, since and then paratroopers again not really worth going getting a very high kill streak for that plus I don't really go on the high of kill streaks anyway in this game I just don't but I still get good uh, KD spreads it's just I don't go on super high kill streaks that often uh, but when I do it's Mostly because I've used a low kill streak. So with the care package, it just guarantees you a, a streak, whether it's a UAV or maybe even a carpet bombing run. Who knows? Maybe even a ball turret gunner. That's why I like the care package so much because you can just get an absolute butt ton of attachments. I mean, of kill streaks. Some it always comes with a high, mid, and low tier. Actually, never mind. That's the emergency airdrop. <laughs> My bad. Uh, but the care package itself comes with either a low, mid, or high tier. And sometimes you can get lucky and get a high tier. So you got a five, 575 streak. Uh, you got a high kill streak for only the price of 575, which I think is very, very good. And then the glide bomb, of course. Always use the glide bomb on pretty much all of my streak class setups. Glide bomb, just a simple kill streak. Easy, easy to get. 
most of the time gets nice kills. Although, I don't, I don't like how the shield makes this kill streak kind of useless. It's kind of annoying, but I don't really let it bother me. But anyway, guys, that is the full M1 Grand class setup. Please try this class setup out. It is absolutely amazing. If you guys slept on the M1 Grand, do not sleep on it anymore because it is an absolute monster of a weapon. So, so good. You guys see it, saw it in that live episode, which I will leave in the description uh, and on screen. So if you guys missed that, you can check it out because, as I said, this gun is ridiculously good. I slept on this gun super hard, and we actually get this, an M1 Grand variant of this weapon for free out of the community event which is very cool as well so if you guys you know don't really like using it you can get a free variant of this weapon so you can try this class setup out as well but I'll put the full class on the screen right now for you guys so you guys can see the whole thing every attachment basic training division secondary all sorts of all this stuff in one screen so you can pause the video screenshot it whatever you guys need to do uh, to use this class setup but of course with all these class setups it's all the personal preference. This is what I like to use. You guys can use whatever you want. Maybe put instead of an aperture sight, advanced rifling, or maybe quick draw. Whatever you guys like with these weapons, you can completely uh, use. I just like to do whatever. I just like to do the class setup for you guys so that you guys can uh, have a look and see what I like to use on these weapons. And it's a non DLC weapon, so any one of you guys can use this. And a big shout out to the uh, new subscribers that came to my channel literally in a day I gained five so super super cool there very very happy that I got some more subscribers very very awesome so shout out to you guys uh, but anyways if you guys want me to cover any other weapons in the future uh, let me know down below in the description but as at the moment uh, the next gun is going to be the Nambu type 2 because that is the most recent DLC weapon, and we'll get a gameplay on that very, very soon. So leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. Make sure you check out all of my recent videos, as well as my other class setup videos. I'll see you on another Call of Duty World War II or Fortnite or H1Z1 video very, very soon.